just quietly luxuriating out here in the garage with a pipe and a beer. The way God intended, right? So, let's get to the housekeeping. I've got my very first bowl of Captain Earl's private stock in this Boswell poker. See? Got J.M. Boswell's name on it right there. Made this pipe in 2014. I bought it from Gateway City Chris. Who is no longer active in the YouTube pipe community. And I'm drinking on some Easy Peasy IPA from Deep Ellum Brewing Company here in Texas. Ah, light, hoppy, citrusy. So good. Okay. So the purpose of this is to kind of give you a first impression of Captain Earl's private stock and maybe compare it to uh, the Pirate Cake by Cornell and Deal. Because a few weeks ago, I did the thing where I said, you choose which tobacco I smoke. And I offered up pirate cake and I offered up uh, private stock because they were both crumble cakes. And uh, everybody, you know, I mean, the, the tobacco that won was pirate cake. And I already smoked that and offered an impression. But people were like, still, you should try this too. And maybe compare it to pirate cake. So that's what I'm doing. And as a reminder, pirate cake is a lot of Latakia. Like a lot. It's good. It's smooth. It's not like a, it's not harsh. But it's strong. Okay. Just tasting on it. So let's have a look, see, shall we? crumble cake. Let's have a look. Now this has a lot more of the lighter tobaccos than that's where I tore off what I was smoking. It's got a lot more lighter tobaccos in it than the, the, the pirate cake. And this smells immediately. You get Latakia. You get a little bit of Oriental. And you get some good sweetness. So let's read what it says on the tin. Captain Earl's private stock is a blend of eight select tobaccos highlighted by rich Latakia and deep red Virginia stoved and pressed into a crumble cake. Private stock is the perfect all day smoke for connoisseurs of rich and complex English blends. So that's a cool description. So it's a, <laughs> Basically what it's saying is it's a kitchen sink blend. They put everything in there. I think they put everything in there but Burley. They've got Orientals and Turkish and Latakia and Virginia, Stowe, Virginia, Cavendish, and Perique. They got a lot of stuff in there. Okay. Um, and I will say that it took me, I gave it about two hours of, of drying time. And it was really, that was like perfect. Or as... Bradley would say, from stuff and things, is Goldilocks, with two two hours of drying time. He's not here, by the way. <laughs> okay. So, when I smoke this tobacco, I get some Latakia up front. Not, not a lot. Not, I mean, it's not like overwhelming, not like a uh, pirate cake. But there was some. It was very nice, very nice, smooth, mellow kind of Latakia. And there was, the only thing I could really detect at first was the Virginias. It was a nice, smooth, easy kind of sweetness. And that was it. 
Now, as I smoked a little bit more, you know, and I'm still not even halfway through the bowl, I'm able to start picking out a little bit more of the oriental flavor, you know, that sour kind of funkiness, and maybe just a hint of sp spiciness, like a pepperiness, but very little. So overall, it, it's kind of just Latakia with a little bit of sweetness and the funk, but that's about it. There's not, it's, it's very smooth and mellow, very well balanced and very good. I really, I really like it. Despite the look on my face. I'm trying to choose my words carefully. Mm. And it's, it's not like to, I don't want to, this is not like a final review or anything. These are just my, my first impressions of this blend. Yeah. Yeah, the Orientals are starting to come through a little bit more. I like it. I think it's it's better to sip on it kind of slow and try to get some of those nuanced flavors. There's a lot of tobaccos in this blend. And so loading up a pipe and just puff, puff, puffing away, which is kind of my tendency, um, that may not work if you want to get all the subtle flavors and nuances of tobacco out of this. But I feel like they're, they are there. I'm, as I slow down and I puff slowly and I retrohale, you know, I can start to, to pick out some of that stuff. And I think maybe intuitively it doesn't pair very well with, with an IPA, but The bitter citrusy um, stuff in that, for some reason, is kind of pulling some caramelly vanilla out of this a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Maybe like a toffee. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not like um. It just kind of. You know how flavor pairings are. They just kind of mingle with each other a little bit. It's interesting. And I like it. It really is. I think it could be a very nice all-day smoke. I like it very much. And as I say with everything, I think it could use maybe a little bit, little bit more age on it to add to that complexity. And I believe that. I'm a... I'm a firm believer in aging tobaccos. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Sorry to give you that complexity. A lot of carbonation in the beer. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate your time. Appreciate your attention. Thank you for being a part of my channel. Um, definitely worth trying. Get you some private stock. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And smell my beard. <laughs>